Hey guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. Today is update day. Out of nowhere, a surprise update just dropped on us, giving us a load of new mid-game content. At long last, it has been forever since we've seen some of that stuff. A ton of new items in the bits shop, as well as the Kudra revamp. Last time I played it, it was on the alpha and it's already on the main server. They are wasting zero time whatsoever, as well as just a few general balance changes and bug fixes here and there that honestly, I think are really healthy for the game. This is a W update. Day. So the first place worth checking is actually something that was added a few updates ago. That's just been kind of looming here, which is this mysterious room behind the dragon's nest stairs here, which is apparently called the void slate with some draconic altar, as well as a travel to the zealot bruiser hideout. Now the zealot bruiser hideout is a brand new area that contains tougher zealots that have higher HP, give more combat XP and have an increased chance to spawn spawn special zealots, which I think is dope. It finally gets the sweatier, more built up players out of the dragon's nest, somewhere where they can grind zealots as a beefier player without taking that experience away from the new players who want to make some money. Because obviously we still have all of the zealots in the nest up here, but there's not really much point in farming them because even if the new area is overpopulated or whatever, they have a much higher chance to spawn special zealots than these guys. So it's kind of a waste of time unless you are like, a brand new player trying to make a quick buck with summoning eyes. Now, summoning eyes are going to be in an interesting place following this because obviously more people definitely have access to grind zealots now and there's going to be more of them in the game. Also, why is there an egg up there? Is, is there a boss fight in here or something? I have no idea if that's a thing. That is something to keep an eye on. Also, I wonder how golems are going to work now. Maybe they still spawn up top and these guys count towards them. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, it's update day and we get another update already? Let's go, dude. Obviously, though, aside from the new Zealot hideout, we have this altar. Right click with an item to make a sacrifice? I actually don't know what on earth that is. Maybe this guy can let me know. So view a list of end and dragon items that can be sacrificed. Sacrificing an item will give you dragon essence and a small chance for bonus items. Oh, so it's basically a salvage system. You can just salvage all the useless dragon armor you get. That's kind of cool. Might raise the value of dragon sets a little bit, which will make them more profitable. Summoning eye prices are going to be all over the place, especially Especially when you go into the new dragon essence shop where you can buy upgrades for dragon fights which after all this time bro i am all about so let's get into this so we have one punch after all of the damage add 500 damage to the first strike against endermen and endermites that's kind of cool if you're struggling to one tap a zealot i guess nothing too crazy though recharge regain two mana after killing an enderman or endermite okay this is pretty like mid game early game stuff rage born two ferocity against dragons that that's what i'm on about baby i love ferocity give me that z luck increases the chance to find a special zealot by two percent that's pog that's only level one as well and the training gain three combat wisdom while in the end that's all right again especially if you're grinding combat xp in the new zealot area 100 percent infused dragon increases the crit damage of your ender dragon pet Ooh, that could be useful for void gloom sale let alone anything else two-headed strike renowned and spiked reforges now apply an extra plus two bonus attack speed on your gear i mean that's okay why not and five Finally, Dragon Piper, which increases your chance to spawn a superior dragon, baby. Finally, we actually have blessed summoning eyes actually implemented into the game. Let's max out this shop. To be honest, I probably shouldn't waste my essence on the early game stuff. We're going to max this out. Oh, it maxes out at level one, apparently. Let's max out this bad boy. Max out Infused Dragon. End of training. And I'm already out of essence. I dread to think what dragon essence is right now. That's all right, actually. I probably bought far more than I needed, but we may as well have gone crazy with it because after all, I am refraction. So give me all of the maxed out things. Oh, wow, that goes up to level 10. Holy, yeah, I did kind of buy a little bit too much essence, but that's okay. So now we have everything maxed. Let's go over the stats again. This is now at 2,500 damage to first strike. Really good if you're early game, actually. That's a huge chunk of damage. Recharge, regain 20 mana. That's kind of crap, but could be useful. 10 ferocity. That's that's pretty decent, I can't lie. 10% increase for special zealots. 7 combat wisdom. Crit damage by 10. Renown and Spike give 10 attack speed. So if you're wearing a full set, that's 40 attack speed. That's also pretty good. And 10% superior chance. Overall, that's pretty pog. It's an expensive shop, to be fair. I didn't expect it to blitz through all of my dragon essence. And then some, considering my kata level. But now that you can sacrifice dragon armor up in here, it's more incentive for people doing dragons just to come over here and sacrifice stuff. If you're early to mid-game, 
One Punch, Z Luck, and Ender Training are probably going to be the ones worth going for. So I don't think it's that costly. Dragon Pipe is also kind of nice, but only if you're consistently placing eyes and spawning dragons. Other than that, it's just nice QOL, you know? These three upgrades here are definitely the ones that will benefit early to mid game players the most. So get on those 100%. <laughs> Moving more into the early game side of things, though, if we bring ourselves back up to the top of the end, these guys still drop Ender Armor now. In fact, they drop even more than Ender Armor. They can drop brand new Ender equipment as well, like the Ender Necklace. But, you know, Ender Armor's always been a thing. Why am I pointing that out? If you look just above Epic Helmet... Ender Armor's Soulbound now. Questionable and controversial change, I know. But that's because Ender Armor is just so dirt cheap, bro. You can just get on a new profile and immediately buy, like, full Ender Armor for, like, free. And you're super strong in the end all of a sudden. So, having to work for it is kind of a good thing, I can see. Like, stopping progression skipping, especially at such a critical point in the game. They also did increase the odds for these Endermen to drop Ender Armor pieces, which is a blessing blessing for me with bingo profiles that alone early game players but yeah it's a pretty uh pretty big change also why am i only dropping necklaces i want the rest of this set so they give 30 health 20 defense and all stats on this piece are multiplied by 2x while on the end island as well that's kind of sick wait does that mean it only gives 15 health and 10 defense elsewhere yeah it does either way it's cool to see an early game set of equipment equipment's not really something that starts getting considered until much later on into the game so uh this is definitely a nice introduction for new players as they start grinding out their ender armor oh wait the equipment pieces drop from different mobs watchers obby defenders and shiny blocks oh that's kind of cool actually so you'll kind of be able to put the pieces together as you progress into the dragon's nest which will be less overrun and overcrowded by mid-game players just taking up all of the zealots this is a big w update honestly i love seeing stuff for the early to mid game it's probably like the biggest population of hypixel skyblock and obviously end game updates are everything that i want but we did just get the kudra re vamp as well so hypixel's kind of spoiling everybody with this update just for a random update out of nowhere i'm really happy with that speaking of being able to get new equipment from the shiny blocks you can actually drop some new item, like some plasma or whatever that you can actually use to craft into a brand new accessory. Yeah, you get mite gel from digging up those endermites and then killing them. And then if you right click this, you can see recipes here. So we got a mixed mite gel. Use a cat to upgrade an endermite pet to mythic rarity. Oh, I didn't even know that's a thing. That's kind of cool. We've got a dragon fused glove. What? I didn't realize that is so many recipes. I literally just thought it was an accessory. Five crit damage, 30 health, five defense while equipped upgrades the aspect of the dragon dragons with 35 damage 50 strength and very reduced ability knock that dude this is massive for like early mid game players i keep saying that but this is insane i haven't seen an update for this level of the game in such a long time there's a new god pop mix in that grants 210 health and 40 defense in the end in the crimson isle yes yes that's the accessory i was talking about increases damage dealt to dragons by three percent that's pretty sick demonic artifact increases damage dealt to dragons by five percent oh that's the upgrade okay and there's the base version the draconic talisman which increases damage dealt to dragons by two percent and finally we have the dragon fade cloak all these new items sound sick dude plus five strength plus 30 health plus five defense all stats on this piece of equipment are multiplied by three x while in the end and multiplies damage dealt to dragons by 1.01 x wow so that's actually something that's useful for even me because damage on dragons is capped actually maybe i'd still hit that cap i have no idea Dude, I can't believe this update. I'm 20 minutes into this stream and I haven't left the end yet. This is one part of the update, but the final thing is the lost adventurer has finally found his way to the end, dripped himself out in Ender Armor. My guy's been grinding because that's Soulbound now, you know, and he's now called the Lone Adventurer. Exhausted me? No, no, no. I'm just taking a break. The end is a creepy place, but you get used to it. If you want a piece of advice, you should start killing the Endermen up here. They sometimes drop important gear like the armor I'm wearing. Are you strong enough, though? Try killing five of them. It's an NPC that gives objectives? This has not been a thing in a very, very, very long time. And it's a tutorial NPC. I really like that. Skyblock does not have enough tutorials, dude. You kind of just have to watch YouTube, guys. This is bad for me. People aren't going to watch my videos anymore. They can just speak to NPCs in game. What the hell? All right, not bad, not bad. It took me a while to get that strong. I use a void sword. It's a very powerful weapon. It gets stronger with each piece of ender armor you're wearing. I have an extremely strong emotional attachment to this item, so I'm willing to sell it to you for the modest sum of 200,000 coins. What do 
you say. Yeah, give it to me, dude. Void Sword, plus 125 damage per gain, plus 20 strength per piece of Ender Armor worn. That's really juicing, actually. That is good. So yeah, I'll take that. Why not? You should focus on getting all eight pieces of the Ender Armor now. Half of them are dropped by the Enderman on this layer. The other pieces are a little harder to obtain. I'm sure you'll figure it out. My time here is over. I think I'll go. See you around. Find full Ender Set, then talk to the Lone Adventurer. So I have my original Ender Armor, but I guess now we actually do have to go and grind out the equipment pieces. I've only managed to find the necklace so far. Ender nodes, you found an ender gauntlet. Okay, so that's where we get the gauntlet from by mining shiny blocks. And we got quite a few mites from that as well. 30 health, 20 defense. It looks like all of the pieces are essentially the same. Now we got to find the other two, which are apparently from killing the watchers and the obsidian defenders. Dude, these guys don't drop the equipment, I'm telling you. Never mind. 169% magic fire and bless. So we get the ender belt from the obsidian defenders. Oh, that's actually a really nice texture. I like that. Oh, enchanted bone. That's not what I want. There we go. The ender cloak. All right. Time to get drippy in our non-set. Ender gauntlet, ender cloak, ender belt, and ender necklace. I feel like a full-on non-bro. Look at me go. Now we got to find the lost adventurer. Oh, he's upgraded since I last saw him. You're wearing that full ender set. That's incredible. That took me at least a week. What a loser, dude. Refraction. You wouldn't believe what just happened. I was fighting one of those dragons. The fight was going smoothly. And as I was about to land the finishing blow, bam, the dragon teleported behind me and hit with a claw attack rolled by an unstable bro imagine that's crazy yeah i'm gonna do it with the three dots you don't sound very excited it's an unstable dragon mate i can't believe you died to that thing i'm hurt and i lost my bow in the chaos i'm 90 percent sure one of those watchers in the dragon's nest has it would you mind defeating some of them for me i'm sure one of them will have my dragon shortbow dragon shortbow oh all of this is worth 10k to the npc that's also pretty juicing for early game players you know if you're getting all of these drops they up the rates for ender arm and you're dropping all this equipment as well. That's really not bad at all. Actually, it's probably not good to NPC sell that stuff because you can go salvage it at that altar and you could probably sell the dragon essence for even more coin. Big brain tips or use it to upgrade yourself even. But apparently chat's saying this, this short bow is actually really good. I'm intrigued. I mean, it's epic rarity. And to be fair, you have to progress quite a bit in the quest to be able to get it because yeah, I just flew through it, but that's because of the point of the game that I'm at. Whereas if you you're a new player, you know, getting a full set of Ender Armor and all of that equipment could take some time, especially since you need to be strong enough to survive in the nest. There we go. You found a dragon shortbow. Here it is. Return the dragon shortbow to the lone adventurer. Plus 120 damage, plus 40 strength, plus 15 crit chance, plus 50 crit damage. 0.3 seconds shot cooldown. Already comes with dragon tracer 5 and it's a shortbow. And it has an ability to deal 15% bonus damage to dragons. That's actually kind of cool. Ah, you found my dragon shortbow. I knew I saw one of those watchers grab it for themselves. Thank you so much. I owe you one. I got the bow from the pearl dealer up near the entrance of the island. He doesn't usually sell them, but he's my friend. I'll let him know you helped me. Drop by his shop a little later and I'm sure he'll sell you one for cheap. You are refraction, right? My friend told me about you. If you want a dragon shortbow, I'll give you one for free. A good deed demands a proper reward. Oh, thank you, brother man. There we go. We got our dragon shortbow. This is kind of cool. I like how short bows are being introduced into the game more. And it definitely gives early game players more of a chance with dragons, especially if you all are saying it's as goated as it is. Like, fair play. The end revamp is awesome. I'm very, very pleased with what they've managed to do here. But this is only part of the update. So it's time to move on before I read all of your comments saying to max this thing. I'm out of here.